everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Retro Tech. Yes, where we aim to bring you some of the best vintage multimeters and electronic paraphernalia ever conceived. Today in the Vintage Spotlight, we're looking at the all new, well, actually 30 year old new Metex M3800 for your vintage pleasure. Let's take a look. It has that also mm -mm yellow. I love that color. Something about it on a multimeter. It just looks so good. Hey, Metex was founded way back in 1976. Based out of Seoul, South Korea, Metex Corporation, um, they have come up with quite a few different meters in the past. This one, I was lucky to happenstance upon, oh, about five years ago, a brand new in the box, unused. Yeah, so a vintage multimeter. Um, that is like new. Wow. As you saw with a lot of multimeters back then, they came in these polyurethane style cases. Kind of cheesy by today's standards, but nonetheless, um, it was definitely a vogue back in the day. Unfortunately, I can't locate the test leads for this. I'm very upset. I know I have them somewhere, but uh, well, anyway, I don't have the digital multimeter manual. And look at that. Look at that. This is pushing 30 years now. Now, radiomuseum.org has some old multimeters listed. Um, and they had this down as a 1984, circa 1984. But I think that's incorrect. I do believe this multimeter um, came out around 1994 so uh, but there you go look at that look at that nice weird font starting when style. this was released and there is our warranty as well awesome as you can see we've got a bit of an angle at the end and that's probably to help with the overall viewing or contrast uh, when you're looking at that LCD screen but uh, yeah speaking of LCD screen look at that that's pretty gorgeous, you know? For a 30 year old multimeter, I'll take it. Um, very, very clean, crisp. Uh, this is only a 2000 count display multimeter. So yeah, we're not talking loads of resolution, but that being said, all in all, I think it's pretty darn good. And in terms of contrast, look at that. Don't lose that viewing ability. TUV GS certified, gotta love it. Yeah, GS came into commonplace, at least in Europe, uh, I think back in the 70s, late 70s. So, uh, hey, Metex obviously uh, wanted their meters to adhere to better safety standards, and there you go, third-party certification. That selector switch as well. Oh, very nice, very, very nice. Hits those ranges with authority. You know I love that, and oh, beautifully done. Definitely has a 90s thing to it. On the back of the meter as well, we have those nice rubberized feet, total of four altogether, so it gives a lot of stability when you're on a surface, especially a slippery surface. Now, nowhere in the multimeter does it say made in Korea. Strange, most of the multimeters I have that were made back in Korea definitely have that uh, signage, but uh, Metex didn't put it for whatever reason. Uh, unless it was the sticker and it just fell off, but I mean, I got it new, so I don't know. Another tilt stand, oh, it's okay. Uh, it's sort of a weird angle the way it protrudes and it's kind of short. Uh, it's wide though, so you do have a lot of stability here. Uh, I mean, it's it's okay. Like all good multimeters, we have the nice fuse readings right out in the open, explicit. So if you blow a fuse, uh, you can go ahead and make sure you've got one in stock before you take this apart. And look at that boy, Medix wasn't fooling around. The back of the multimeter, they've got a beautiful musical note. Letting us know that this can do audible continuity. Oh, well, that's so cool. But plastic surround. Uh, the encasement, totally plastic. There is no rubberized boot whatsoever. So that's too bad. Uh, it didn't even come with a rubber guard, a uh, holster, nothing. So, uh, you know, you want to be careful. I think if you drop this, oh, might not have such a happy ending. As well, if you look at those input jacks, 20 amps is what they were boasting way back in the day. Um, unfused as well, so uh, pretty high. Uh, here is our milliamp jack, and it says up to 2 amps max. And the common ground, as well as the voltage and resistance. And it does 20, 20 mega ohms in terms of resistance, so pretty pretty good, considering we're talking like 1994. The Medex 3800 boasts that one touch on off button. I gotta say, I like it, I like it. Now we can see that low battery indicator coming on sometimes. Um, that's because the 9 volt in there is probably not the freshest, but uh, yeah, I like the on off. And as well, we have that HFE slot at the top right. And believe it or not, this incarnation is actually really, really good. It works really well with this multimeter. DC accuracy test now and 5.01 volts, almost perfect. 5.00, just like that is what we want to see. So mm, all these years later, it's still very accurate. And trying out that continuity. 
Oh, yes. With those Pro Masters, it's latched and loud and fast. Good stuff. Not as heavy as that Hewlett Packard, but still quite heavy enough. Um, it's definitely not a light multimeter. It looks light, but believe you me, it is not a light multimeter. If we put in a Habotest, a modern day meter, um, you can tell really not that much difference in terms of size. Obviously the ergonomics have changed drastically, but size wise at least, pretty well the same. Now we're on the inside of this beautiful Metex multimeter, vintage 1994-ish. Uh, look at that, we have the Metex logo embossed, embedded into that plastic. Uh, very nice little attention to detail here. And on the left, look at that, whoa! Who would have thought, yeah, they gave us shielding. Oh, beautiful. You know what, back then it was just par for the course. It was nothing special. Um, it would just made good instrumentation sense, but uh, lifting up that shielding, we can see that big rotary selector switch that's held in with this cotter pin right here. Powered by a nine volt battery. Um, yeah, so you had to take off the whole assembly to get access to that nine volt battery, which is kind of a drag, obviously. We do have a spare fuse here as well. Uh, this is on the milliamp side. Main fuse here is a 250 volt, two amp glass fuse. Whoa. And if we take off that shielding cover as well, just held in by one Phillips screw with a, a washer. Yeah, it comes off like that. We have the Metex, lo Metex logo rather right at the top. And there is our piezo. Oh, look at that little guy. Just soldered ever so, ever so gently right into the PCB. Look at that. And wow, look at these standoffs. Oh my God, gorgeous. Big brass standoffs. And that's just to hold the shielding for God's sakes. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Yeah, no, that would also be to hold the back end There's of the multi well. so mm, yummy oh nice nice soldering job here you know they weren't messing around back in the day they wanted you to have these things for more than one or two years so um, beautiful attention to detail really nice soldering let's not forget this is almost 30 years old and i'm telling you yeah we've got a little bit of flux going on over here but all in all very very sweet m3800 94-38 so I believe that would be a March 8th, 1994 fabrication date. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just ever so gently, I was able to remove that cotter pin um, and that rotary selector switch should just... I was able to gently get that uh, selector switch knob off and underneath we got uh, three pads on there. Look at that big, big brass inlay for the rotary. Very nice. And of course that shielding extended to the front of the meter as well. Oh man, they weren't messing around back in the day. And there's the rotary selector knob itself. The other side, three more pads. So for a total of six pads all together making contact with that rotary track. And speaking of tracks, well, look at those tracks. Very, very nice. No dielectric has been applied on the tracks at all. Um, something else kind of unique is the fact we have not one, but two rotary selector tracks on the multimeter. Um, yeah, so uh, they weren't messing around back in the day, I'm gonna tell you. Now, why they use two? I I'm not exactly sure the uh, circuit engineering behind that. Um, seems to me like a lot of extra uh, design went into this, but uh, well, there you go. Boy, those input jacks, just absolutely gorgeous. Nice big current shunt as well. So and uh, rush big job. absolutely resistor. gorgeous attention to detail. Beautifully soldered everything. And we even have a couple of uh, calibration pots as well. Um, oh, so sweet. Underneath, there is the LCD display with the display driver as well. So everything housed and uh, complete. Wow, very, right, very this gorgeous fantasy. vintage multimeter back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Thanks for taking the trip down multimeter memory lane. You, me, and the Metex M3800. What a great little multimeter.